what's up you guys hello and welcome back to my channel my name is sandy and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you for always watching my videos i really really appreciate your support and if you are a new subscriber thank you for um subscribing to my channel and i hope you are here to stay so you guys i haven't been doing sit down videos for quite some time now because i broke my camera last month i think it got broken and i didn't want to do videos and then i have low quality because right now i'm filming with my phone and i'm not really sure of the quality and i'm not even sure of this video if i'm going to post it if the quality is not the best Please don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and also please press the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a video. So in today's video, like I wanted to talk about something, you know, that's been affecting me a lot lately and it has made me like question a lot of things about myself and about people that I have around me so what i want to talk about and <laughs> what i want to talk about is prioritizing yourself so um, i just want to share these points with you and just like slowly break it down on how i feel about them and what i do to actually make sure that i put myself first and really at this big age of mine I, prioritizing myself is very important Honestly, I really don't care how another person takes it as long as I'm not offending anyone Like right now, I'm being very very selfish with myself So the first point I would actually tell you is to be very very selfish with yourself be selfish with your space be selfish with um, Your time like I've said I think I've said this in one of my videos but I just want to emphasize like how important it is to know that you are available for things that you know you don't want to do. So just avoid doing them and putting yourself in an uncomfortable position. One thing I've realized about me in the past um, that I'm really trying so hard to change right now is I've been so accommodative to um, my friends and other people. Like I've been so accommodative that I would peep, I would put like everyone first if their needs are met and that everyone is happy while I'm making myself unhappy. Because one thing about me is I love my space and I also love my friends and I also love having people over. But you know, I don't want it to get to a point where I'm inconveniencing myself now just to make other people happy so what i'm telling you is like i've been through this and i know that i don't want to ever go through it again that's why i can sit here and tell you guys that be selfish with yourself be selfish with your time you are unavailable for things that you don't like unavailable for things you do not want to do regardless of how your friends might see it whether it makes them happy that you're unavailable or it makes them unhappy and so the second point that i want to touch into is learn to say no and this is another problem of mine like i i have i'm still learning to deal with this point like i have a really really hard time saying no to people like every time my friends or my family they ask me for something i always go above and beyond to try and those people get whatever they're asking of me whether it's a favor or whether i don't know anything i always try i pull through for people but right now i just want to learn to say no like i really want to learn to like really mean it and be able to back it up because some people would actually beg you after you've said no they would actually beg you like please do this please do this like i want to learn to and another thing that i've just like i've been doing this like sometimes if like i really have am trying to say no like sometimes if i don't want to talk to a person i just don't pick their call because i really don't want to talk to them like at that moment maybe i love the person or i love the friend but i really don't feel like talking to them at that point 
and one thing i've noticed about myself like i don't like people who are going to come to me with their problems so really like i have stopped asking people like how are you doing how's your day how's this and this because i genuinely don't want to know like i do not want to know because i don't want to be bothered so one thing like i don't know if maybe my close people have noticed like i don't ask i don't like asking people anymore like how are you doing because i really don't want to know because you're probably going through something and i don't want you to share that problem with me because I have a lot of things going on in my life so now you are gonna pile whatever's going on with you or it's just gonna drain my energy and probably I'm not fit enough at that time to so ask questions I don't want to know the answers to like I don't want to ask a person like how are you doing or how's your day if I'm not ready for whatever that person might tell me like I'm really really trying to do that because so what i do to prioritize myself and my health and my good space and my good um just for me to be in a good mental space like i don't quit i don't want to prioritize my own peace because i really don't want to know if you're having a bad day because i just feel like if you're having a bad day and now you're ranting about your bad day to me it's just going to ruin my mood as well or maybe it's just going to affect me in some way so i've really tried not to ask people how they're doing how's everything so another thing that i have um recently um learned to stop doing is taking advice from people like not that i'm a bad person who doesn't like constructive criticism but sometimes um i already know what i want to do i think and i think i've said this in one of my videos also but let me just go deep into it but sometimes i already know what i want to do and i already know how i want to do it so if someone else gives me their own um inputs or whatever they think i should do it just alters the whole plan of what i wanted to do initially and now i have to incorporate whatever this person is trying to tell me so this is one thing i was telling my friends the other day that i really don't I, i'm not trying to be so like we were having this conversation with my friends and they were saying like um they think i should do something fun for my youtube channel like maybe we should just do um a sit down videos and maybe i don't know talk about what and just take shots and just get high and drunk and really like the kind of person that i am and the kind of brand that i'm trying to build it doesn't associate with that type of behavior yes i go out yes i go to the club yes i do drink yes i um do have a good time and i do all those things but right now and the direction i want to take for my youtube channel that's not the direction i want to take like because I, I just feel like i can't be doing I, I can't be sitting here and be telling you guys to respect yourself to do all these positive things and to put yourself in a manner that people are going to respect you and i would come here online and sit here with the whole bottle of Jägermeister and just downing it and it's you know that's not the kind of um behavior i'm trying to put out there so what i'm saying is like my friends don't understand me where it's they saying i should be more fun and being fun is actually if that's what they call fun that's not fun for me because that's not what i'm trying to put out there that's not the kind of um that's not the kind of my sunday i want to put out there yes i do those things but i do those things in private with my friends when i'm having that's part of my private life that you guys don't get to see i have a life that i want to share with you guys here online but i also have a life that i actually live with my family and i also sometimes live with my friends and that's when i get to have my privacy 
so like i'm also very careful to what i put out there and what i don't put out there but and i'm also very careful of the image that i want to put out there and that's not the kind of image that i want to put out there i just don't want to get sit here and get pissed drunk and you know be behaving funny that's not the kind of um that's not the kind of masandi i want to introduce to you guys i hope this makes sense because it makes sense to me i hope it makes sense another thing that i want to talk about is discipline like I've, i'm still struggling with the discipline but i am doing my very best like i've i really want to be more 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 disciplined when it comes to things that i want to do because every time like when my friends would call me when i already have plans that i'm going to do this on friday i'm going to do this on saturday i'm going to do this on sunday but when my friends call me and say to me like let's do this let's do this i get so excited and i want to do whatever they want to do because i hardly go out and i hardly have all this fun but how it is whatever i had to do that weekend i will cancel it and go hang out with my friends so really what i'm trying to do is like when i have goals or i have things that i want to do that are very important i'm gonna go back to learning how to say no like I, as fun as it sounds but i'm not gonna hang out with you guys because i have to do this and it's so important probably gonna be benefit me in the long run i do not want to think about now that i want to have fun now and just finish everything now i just want to think about long term ways i so my thing is i easily get distracted by friends so i just want to learn to actually set boundaries where I am very disciplined and I know what I want and I don't let my friends influence me to getting distracted. Like today, today it's Friday night and all I want to do is just sit here and record a YouTube videos and make sure I reply to my DMs, I reply to my emails and you know, um, what my friends want to do today on a Friday, they probably want to go out and have a drink and i really don't feel like it today it's a friday i really don't feel like it but i just want to chill at home and cuddle with kareem so basically all in all i just want to be more disciplined and prioritize myself and pay more attention to me and things that are going to help me be a better person and i just want to learn to say no when i should say no and I just don't want to say I, I don't want to hear it if someone had wants to tell me something that I know is just gonna break my mood or it's just not something I want to hear because it's probably negative or any other reasons that I don't know right now so my thing is I am always misunderstood and it's actually like when it comes to friendship I am always misunderstood and it's actually so frustrating when you are trying to like introduce yourself to this to your friends and they just don't understand you and they don't understand your personality and they don't understand your lifestyle like right now I think I'm grown and there's some things that I used to do like five years ago that i really don't want to do right now because i'm over it i've been doing it for five years i'm over it i don't want to do it anymore or there's just some places i used to hang out and i'm just like mm, i'm over it i don't want, ever want to do it now people would think like you think you're better i'm not better i just don't want to do it anymore because i've gone past that i'm in another stage of my life and another thing is i feel like when uh your friends have seen you at your worst like you guys let's say you guys have been together for a few years and they've seen you at your lowest maybe at your lowest emotionally and at your lowest financially sometimes they they take advantage of that like um so now that you can maybe let's say you can afford or you are emotionally stronger you are just more confident they always question it like mm, you mm -mm -mm. so that i think that's another thing that just makes it's so hard for me to have friends because i have friends who know me like most of my friends are people that i've been with for years and they know me at my lowest and they know me at my highest
highest and they know me at my most vulnerable and they know me at my happiest so sometimes it's very hard for some people to see the growth because they know you as that person who doesn't have or that person who's shy or that person who can't do so when they see you like shift from that to something else to another woman they don't recognize they always have they always raising their eyebrows but luckily for me like whenever a person is growing my personality whenever a person is growing i allow them to grow and i actually meet them to on their growth i don't know if i'm making sense but i always meet them wherever they go like i don't stay here and a person who has already moved on with their life to the next stage like i can't treat you the same way i used to treat you five years ago when i know you're not the same person you were five years ago and i can't talk to you the same way i used to talk to you five years ago when i know that you've evolved and so just to summarize this whole thing like i i grew up watching friends and there was just these five friends and their relationship was so beautiful all of them loved each other and all of you know they used to you know like take care of each other they used to support each other and they had different personality if you know friends then you know what i'm talking about and these friends they used to just be like this girl gang you know and for me when i thought that what friendship was about so when i got to understand that that's actually not what friendship is about like it's like, like scattered everywhere I have a friend I can call when I want to rant about my relationship. I have a friend I can call when I want to rant about my child. I have, and I have a friend I can call when I want to have dinner. I have a friend I can call like when I go home for holidays. So I have different friends in different areas which i feel like it's very unhealthy for me because like i have these multiple personalities and my attention is just divided and this is just mentally exhausting and it's draining where you have to now open up yourself to like connect with 20 individuals like this is when i realized i think i posted something on on um on Instagram I'm actually gonna post what I, I'm actually gonna share here what I posted on Instagram I was just saying like how I want friends who are very compatible to me so I don't have to you know keep putting myself in different groups of friends I'm young and I have a family so people my age they most of them they don't have families so it's quite difficult for me to actually be friends with them through and through and it's also very draining for me to actually be friends with a lot of people for different activities because it's very energy consuming and it's very energy draining and you always feel like you're lacking in this relationship you're lacking in this relationship you're lacking in this relationship we like I'm so right now i think like um I'm actually putting myself in this situation because I am dealing with people who are single and I am dealing with people who don't have children, who have no responsibilities. So basically they're living their best life and here I am, I have to do wife duties, I have to do mom duties and I'm hanging out with people who are just living their own life and at the end of the day i want to live a life that doesn't offend my partner i can't be living like my single friends i'm hearing these people and i'm also inconveniencing myself like both of us are just in like me and my friends we are in a relationship where all of us are living different lives and different lifestyles so there's a lot of clashes so this is what i wrote on instagram i pray god blesses me with women who are in healthy relationships with their partners or happily single good moms who are supportive in whatever um, you decide to venture in no envy no pretentious behavior
so honestly with this message i was not trying to offend anyone but i feel like i'm at a place in my life where i have worked so hard on my behavior on my attitude and i've worked so hard on so many things that i had to fix um about myself and the flaws that i had so i don't think that it's good for me to get like people who are not fully there for me as friends i think that i deserve to have good friends who are just good for me emotionally financially and in any other way i think that that's what i should get and i'm not willing to settle for anything less than what i deserve and i feel like i've grown so much and i'm still growing and i'm still learning but i'm like i really really love the woman that i am and i love the woman that i'm becoming i know it sounds so cliche but <laughs> but you know what i do not want to put her in uncomfortable relationships and uncomfortable situations i want to protect the person i'm becoming i want to protect the woman that i am in any way possible I've just decided to take a break to myself and really really evaluate myself and really see what is it that I want when it comes to friendship which direction do I want to take when it comes to my friends and how from here going forward like how am I planning to accommodate people into my life because really because i even have people close to me like i would have to beg these people please subscribe to my channel like you my friend we chill together almost every day why are you not subscribed to my channel why are you not watching my videos like i have strangers people who don't even know me people who have never met me who actually hype me up and that is so beautiful to see i really so let me just wrap this up you guys so all in all i just want to prioritize myself prioritize everything about me and make that i come first and so thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you guys clicking on this video please don't forget to subscribe until next time bye guys